Come on into the library. It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Milton Wordsworth. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. Story makers. Midnight. Hello. Has everybody gone? Welcome, one and all. Milton Wordsworth, story maker and magical maestro, at your service. <laughs> What's that? I think it was Milton. Come on. <laughs> Milton, are you? Okay. Mm. What am I? I think you are strange and ever so slightly mad. Should we take his temperature? <laughs> no, it's a guessing game. What oh. animal am I impersonating? Mm -hmm. um, um, is it a tortoise? A, a, a werewolf. No, I'm an angry lion. Oh, 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 that's a good game, that is. Oh, do another one. Ma, ma. Oh, oh, is it a sheep? Is it a sheep? Ma. Oh, oh. Ah, got it. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? Milton's animal sound. Oh. Listen. Ah. <laughs> uh, is it a goat? Well done, Jackson. <laughs> oh, and now I can use the rest of the sound to make a story. Good idea, Jackson. <laughs> In it goes. <sighs> now, it takes a lot of imagination to get this story machine going. So, imagine that goat in your head and make it come alive like this. Imagine, 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 imagine a story. <gasps> it's a playbook. It's called Park Animals. It was early morning in the park and the deer were just waking up. Oh! I'm so hungry. Here, move over. I need to get some breakfast. All right, all right. Keep your fur on. Hey, look over there. There's Kevin. The deer enjoyed their breakfast, but Kevin, the kookaburra, was still a little sleepy. The children will be here soon. Oh, look! Here comes one now. I do believe it's Henry. Henry loved visiting the park. Uh-oh! Look out, everybody! Henry's here! Now, where's he gonna go first? Oh, yeah! To the playground! That looks like fun. The park is home to many animals, and Henry says hello to them all as he plays. Look, pink flamingos. Where's he going now? Quack, quack. Henry's here, everybody. He always comes to the park with his pockets full of bread. Over here, Henry. And some here, Henry. Lovely fresh bread. Mmm, delicious. It's great when Henry comes to the park. Now it's Henry's turn for a tasty treat. Ice cream. Mmm, delicious. Henry loves his visits to the park. But it's time to go home now. Goodbye, animals. See you all soon. <laughs>
Ah, uh, there were lots of different animals in that park making a noise, weren't there, Milton? There certainly were. Mm. Can you think of anywhere you might find animals other than the park? Um, mm, oh, I know, a farm! They have cows and pigs and sheep and ducks and cockerels and all sorts of animals. Can I help you magic up some farmyard animals, Milton? Well, OK. Mm. But I didn't learn these skills overnight, you know. You have to concentrate very hard. Mm -hmm. Think farmyard animals. Mm -hmm. mm. <gasps> oh dear. Hmm. Mm. Never mind. I'll give you a hand. Okay. Oh, clever! Let's use them to make a story. An inspired idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Milton, Milton. Put the balloon in, too, and see what happens. Hmm. Whatever you say. Imagine, 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 imagine the story. It's a sniff and wag story. The Fire Quacker Balloon. Sniff and Wag are friends. When the day ends and the sky grows dark, they sneak into the park through a hole in the fence. <laughs> the two dogs are taking a stroll one night when they see a wonderful oh, sight oh. in the sky. <gasps> Is it a falling moon? asks Sniff. I know, says Wag. It's a hot air balloon. They watch, wide-eyed as the hot air balloon lands nearby. <laughs> then, in a flurry and flutter of feathers, out of the basket jumps a duck. Hello. Who are you? A balloonist, says the duck. How do you do? Oh, the better for seeing you and your beautiful balloon, Sniff barks. Uh, we've landed here because I think it's best to let the dragon have a rest. A dragon? Hmm. Her nose is stuffed up. She seems to be running out of puff. A dragon? Hmm. And uh, without her hot air, the balloon won't stay up. A dragon? Where? Over here, says the dragon, and a sniffy snout pokes out of the basket. <gasps> wow, sniff. I've never seen a real dragon before, but aren't dragons supposed to roar? It's the end of my fire-breathing career, I suppose, because of this dole in my throat and my nose. Don't worry, says Sniff. I've an idea. We'll pick some mint and lavender from the flower garden, and you can sniff them. Sniff and Wag race to the flower garden and back before you can say quack, quack, quack. They give the dragon some herbs to Sniff, and it really seems to do the trick. She blows her nose, sings a few arpeggios, and then breathes fire and smoke. It's a miracle, she roars. I'm saved. I thought I'd never work again. Ah, oh, come for a ride with us, quacks the duck. Jump in quickly. We're going up. So up they fly into the starry sky, far above the park. The trees look small and the moon looks large. It's fine to fly in a hot air balloon. I feel like a star or a cloud or a moon, says Wag. And Sniff agrees. Good night. Sleep tight, my little friends. Tomorrow we will play again. The children in the library today were talking about another place where you find animals. Oh, mm. like where? Uh, I think it was called The mm. Circle. Mm. Oh. I'm sure there's a book about it somewhere. <laughs> no, Jackson, silly. I heard the children talking mm. too. It's The Circus. Oh, The Circus. That's mm. it, yes. Uh, but I'm not sure where the book is. Oh, mm. um, well, don't worry. We can make our own story about The Circus. Um, 
But what can we put in the machine? Uh, oh, look down here. Mm. Oh, 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 just oh. these. <laughs> They're juggling bags. They oh. use those in the circus. OK. Come on, mm. come on. <laughs> and now for the final story and your last chance to help. Imagine, 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 imagine a story. It's a blue cow story. Blue cow goes to the circus. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was munching grass when a bird landed on her head. I wonder what it would be like to balance on someone. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a return ticket to a place where I can balance, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for the circus. And then they arrived. When Blue Cow got off the bus, she could hardly believe her eyes. She saw the biggest circus tent in the world. Inside were four elephants doing handstands, three pirouetting horses, and two stilt-walking chimpanzees. Suddenly, the ringmaster appeared and announced, Come on, everyone! Time to practice the pyramid! All the animals cheered and gathered in the centre of the ring. The elephants were first and stood in a row very close together. On top of the elephants stood the horses, and then on top of the horses balanced the chimpanzees. But where's Louise the chicken? We can't have a pyramid without Louise. Louise! cried the ringmaster, but Louise was nowhere to be seen. Could I help? said Blue Cow. Maybe you can. Can you balance at the top of our pyramid? I can try, said Blue Cow. She began to climb, first over the elephants, and then the horses, and finally, the chimpanzees. Oh, 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 I've made it, shouted Blue Cow as she balanced on two legs at the top of the pyramid. Just then, they heard a clucking noise. Buck, 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 sorry I'm late, said Louise the chicken as she fluttered up and perched on Blue Cow's head. With that, the pyramid began to wobble and wobble and wobble. Blue Cow lost her balance. She fell from the top of the pyramid. Ooh, ah, she cried as she somersaulted through the air. Gotcha, shouted the ringmaster as he caught her in his arms. What a fantastic somersault. Would you like to join the circus as an acrobat? Oh, thank you, said Blue Cow. But I think I prefer being on all fours. Oh, oh, Jackson, keep still. Oh. Be careful, you two, or you'll fall like Blue Cow. No, we won't. We're brilliant circus performers. <laughs> Oh, um, well, perhaps it's not really our thing. No, <laughs> our thing's making um, stories. We're and doing... very good at it you are too. But now, the dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you bye. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fabulous. Bye, story makers. <laughs> See you again soon.